Okay, so today I went to um, a garage sale. That was weird. Today I went to a garage sale all by myself. I was very proud. I have a lot of anxiety, but um, Josh kind of talked me into going because I haven't been to one and summer's over. So I finally went and I actually got some goodies. I'm going to do like a quick run through. I ended up getting a decent amount of plush from this garage sale because um, she had them five for a dollar and it didn't matter what size they were. Almost just fell over. And it didn't matter what size they were. So I'm going to run through these real quick. But some of them were looked up, some of them were guesses. First up, we have this really cute horse plush. It's a Wills Fargo horse. I've had one of these before. And I absolutely love them. I think it's adorable when companies do little animals. Like for promotions and stuff because, I don't know, I'm obsessed with sidekicks and stuffed animals. Also, this one I picked up because, not just because it was cute in Wills Fargo, but Toys R Us. 2003 she's vintage or he they I thought I saw something wrong with his nose but he's good okay this next one I got Kelly toys okay but the, it's just because it's kind of unique looking and Christmas is coming up the holidays sorry the lighting in here is terrible you see the eyes look at how cute look at these gold flakes adorable oh a jelly cat Jelly cat. I think, shut up. This one still has the tag. I didn't see it when I grabbed My spine is hurting so bad today. Okay, I got this little guy. I thought I had sold this one before, but I didn't. I sold a, a flying pig. So I haven't sold this one before. This is just a light pink bunny. Tag still attached, beautiful condition. Hi, donut. This one I just picked up because it looked like a specialty Aurora. I know Aurora makes a, sh a lot of stuffed animals. <laughs> but um, this one looked specialized. This one says Mioni. How do you get stuff to focus, man? Pardon my old woman hands. Mioni. I think. Look at how cute. Anything with a cat too, I'm going to look at it because I'm obsessed with cats. A maple donut. Brrr. She's laying down. Okay, zip through, Megan. Um, I just thought this was unique and I've heard of Ryan's World, but now that I'm looking at this, it looks like there's like puke on it. So we're gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna see if it's something that's like super easy to clean off. I don't know what this is, I don't look it up. It's a Disney Dorables. Why would it be called Adorable? Anyways, Minnie Mouse, I think, yeah. And then I got this guy because um, everyone loves a platypus, am I right? Look at how unique and adorable. And this, I've had good luck with other types of TYs and I cannot remember, I think one of them is a buddy. I know I've had good luck with those. And then, I don't know, this one is a TY silk. So we'll see, look at this little pink platypus. Look at this little pink platypus. Uh, this looked like a weird TY tag and I was like, I've never seen a TY tag like that that I can remember. And I was like, is this a bootleg? <laughs> I was like, why would someone make a bootleg TY? These were all the thoughts going through my ma my main, my mind when I was at the garage sale. His name is Benjamin. He's from 1993. I don't even know if this is focusing because I need to get my eyes checked and I can't really see what's happening right now. So sorry if it's not. But he's just a little bunny. He's adorable. He was a little different than what I've seen before. Also, this one is because, you know, it's seasonal, it's coming up. Who doesn't love a wiener dog? <laughs> Look at his little hat. Ew. Oh, it's got a little burr in it. Um, I have to clean these because some of them were on uh, the little blanket she had and it had some, like, crunchy leaves on it. Let's see. These are all actually in really good condition, though, surprisingly. I was like, were these even played with type of thing? So this is a Kelly toy. Again, I know Kelly toy. To me, it's kind of like Aurora. It's got one little mark right there. I got to clean them up. All of these have to be sanitized and everything before I put, post them, list them, whatever. But um, I know that dragons can do pretty well. And look at, I just, I couldn't pass them up. Um, I've had good luck with Wild Republic. So I decided to get this one. He's a pink dinosaur. And he's got a little gem on his belly. How cute. Adorable, purple, pink, glittery, love. 
this thing up and I was like, oh, Squishmallow for sure. No, it's not. It's a TY. Hmm. It's a TY Bitsy. So again, because I've had good luck with TY branching, whatever you want to call it. Was his ear supposed to? Oh, one of his ears is pink. Interesting. Okay. I thought it was inside out for a second. Um, this is like a vintage, I don't know, but I got it. Lower it slowly so you can see the detail. <laughs> I hope this is even focused. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I got this guy immediately because I know they can go between like 15 and 30 depending. This is the purple nose one. This is Dandy. I know um, larger plush. Oh my gosh, she fits in the screen. Uh, the larger plush, they tend to go for more in the more common brands, obviously, because the bigger ones are more rare. <laughs> this is a Kohl's Cares. I don't usually pick those up because they're like kind of hit or miss. They had a couple there. I didn't want to look them up. I was literally outside in the 90, I think it was like 96 degrees today, and I, I couldn't do it. But this guy caught my eye because look at his little legs. I... <laughs> I don't even care if he's not worth anything. This is hilarious. And then this one was free off the street. <laughs> That's maple donut. This is Jurassic Park. Adorable. Just a cute little Jurassic Park dino. Can I get in here? This I picked up. It was the very last thing I picked up just because I liked the texture on it. And I didn't know the um, brand. I'd never heard of this one or seen it. Monkeys and Friends. So I'm... Took a chance on him. This is Sarah from Land Before Time. If you know, you know. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, if you know, you know, but that's not her name. You, me. I don't know. You, me. You know, one of these days, maybe I'll get a new phone or a new camera, but you know, I live in California. We can barely pay rent, so that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> I got these because it was a bundle deal. I know a lot of Disney stuff doesn't... <laughs> A lot of Disney plush doesn't do well. And don't act like it does because it doesn't. The stuff you find at thrift stores and shit and stuff. But um, I got these because the deal was so good. I'm just going to bundle them together. Clean. And they both have their tags. They're not vintage or anything, but they're Disney Junior. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse still has the tag. Right? Yeah, still has the tag. Oh, we got another maple donut. This is Fiesta. Multi cotton candy colored sloth. What? This is the jelly cat I've sold. See, this one doesn't have its ear tag still. That's why the other one surprised me. But I've sold this one before, I think for like 15. How cute. The little piggy. Took a chance on this guy just because very unique looking. Nanco, creators of quality fun. This is Jurassic World. I wonder if I should combine this with the Jurassic Park. Probably not because they're different movies and people like different stuff. Oh, then I got this, of course, because hello, I love cats. And I, if something's like really odd looking with a cat on it, I'll usually get it and I'll either keep it or I'll bundle stuff. Because if I can find cool cat stuff and sell it to other cat people who will appreciate it, I love that. I got these. These were kind of just thrown in. David Bowie, Rolling Stone. Collector's Edition. Days of Our Lives 50th Anniversary Special. Uh, the Brilliance of David Bowie. Condé Nast? Is that a magazine? I don't know what this is. Condé Nast magazine? Wait. Condé Nast Special Edition. Yeah, I guess that is the magazine name. Interesting. I've never heard of that. And then Life, Bob Dylan. I don't know what year this was. Display until March 10th, 2017. So it's from 2017. And I got this thing of rings for five bucks. They were, oh, sorry. They were just like really interesting to me and I wanted to look through all of them. And I, this is like my first thing of jewelry that I've bought and I wanted to buy just like a little lot to look through. I don't know anything about jewelry because I don't really, this, I wear jewelry like once a year. I got kitty earrings on today. And then I got, I picked this up because it reminded me of my grandma Nola and I miss her a lot. I've been thinking about her a lot, but she was obsessed with pigs. And so I picked this up and then I almost put it back because it was a dollar and it's got some staining like on its little snouty right here. 
but then I looked it up and it's a kind of glass I've heard of before and then I was like oh I guess I'll just take a chance on it even if it's not oh no it is it's it is anchor hawking it's got the little uh you probably can't see it uh, oh oh anyways you get the idea so I don't I think this is worth like I could probably sell it for like 12 or 15 but he's cute it reminded me of my grandma so I picked it up so these were a dollar each and I'm just gonna bundle them up it's we Cabela's monster buck hunter Cabela's big game hunter and Cabela's North American adventures they're all for we listen I just had to get this for nostalgia I never owned it but I um, like a lot of their music kill switch engage and then I just remember Twista being huge when I was in middle school, I think. I don't know. So I got Twista. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, I'm going to start cleaning stuff and listing stuff. Visit my eBay shop, Moog's Musings, if you are interested in any of this stuff. My cats are getting into a bag. I need to clean this up. Okay, bye. And I did want to say I was kind of looking at this glass more because um, I kind of wrote glass off because I've I've had medium luck with glass and I haven't really learned a lot about it. But I've been watching Sunny Las Vegas, I think. The thrifter, um, he lives in Vegas, obviously, and he's like super interested in glass from what the ones that I've been watching. So I've been trying to learn a little bit about that. And also um, he has turned me on to looking for uh, planters and there is this one restore where i live that always has planters and i always just walk right past them because i don't know anything about planters gardening just outside in general i'm an inside gremlin i don't do the outside very much so um thank you for that sunny because i'm going to be looking for other stuff so you're out here teaching us and i appreciate it because i've been doing this kind of really part time for like two and a half years because i've been really sick on and off but I've been feeling a little bit better lately. I hope the momentum stays because I'm having a lot of fun and I'm learning. Girl, you can't be next to the bags, honey. These aren't allowed for kitties because they have handles. Don't let your cats play with plastic bags with bad handles on them because it's very dangerous. Huh.